The research clearly shows that spending time in nature and or nature-like environment will dramatically improve our well-being. So in this lecture, I will share a well-known research to support this claim and give you some ideas how to implement this life-improving technique and even make it a habit. It certainly is important to be in nature-like environment, but also equally important what we do, think, and feel when we are there. We can show you that in this environment, you can also practice the tools previously learned, such as mindful breathing, mindful eating, and or simply paying attention to the moment and things you see, hear, and so on. We will also provide a research paper supporting this. Now, we know that spending time in nature is good for us, and yet some of us, maybe many of us, simply don't do it, and others just probably don't do it enough. In today's world, it is easy to get distracted by watching TV, enjoying our favorite electronic gadgets, and you know, spending time on internet and social media and networking and Facebook and LinkedIn and everything else. This is not to say that technology shouldn't have a place in our lives. It certainly improved our life dramatically. However, we should not ignore that our bodies and our mind have other important needs in order to stay healthy and happy. So, let's go back to some research. A research performed in 2012 by Peter Aspinali, uh, Panagotius Mavros, um, uh, Richard Coyne, and, and Jenny Rowe suggests that people who spend time in green space showed evidence of lower frustration and higher meditation state. In this research, conducted in UK, participants were asked to walk for 25 minutes through three different zones. So let me tell you, so zone one was urban shopping streets, you know, things that we do a lot. Zone two was through green space. And zone three uh, was a very busy commercial district. They traveled individually through all three zones while being followed by researchers. The organizers measured four predictors. So they measured uh, frustration, engagement, alertness, and meditation. We have 14 sensors positioned on the participant's scalp using emotional-based recognition software. The research measured changes in four predictors when people moved from one zone to another. So we gave you these four zones. When we moved from one zone to another, the researchers measured these uh, changes in four predictors. They found that when participants moved from zone one to zone two, which is from urban shopping to green spaces, they showed a reduction in three out of four predictors. So they showed a redu reduction in frustration, engagement, and alertness, and increase in meditation. So when moving from zone two to zone three, which is from green space to busy commercial district, engagement and alertness dominated. You know, I used to hike for hours to get to green spaces back when I was a kid in my country, to reach mountains and enjoy the scenery. But we don't need to do this today in order to benefit from nature. At least, you know, most of us that live in, 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 in Western world, and I'm sure all over the world, regardless where we live, chances are there's a park or park-like environment close to us. So in addition, many of us work in the areas called office parks. Now, some businesses invested a lot of money to build this park-like environment so that we can relax, minimize stress, 
and focus more on our work when we go back to our offices. Ideally, once you establish a habit of spending time in nature, you can combine other habits such as breathing and meditation. There is no better place to practice these habits than in the nature. Establishing a mindful habit to enjoy nature once a week or even once a month will improve your health and help you focus on other things in your life that you deem important. So do you have green space near where you live or work? Can you spend more time outside? How often can you go out during business hours? So here's the action for you. Establish a habit every day, week, at least a month, but I suggest really try daily, to go to a park or other green space to relax, to enjoy the moment. Spend some time alone there to have a chance to do some breathing and meditation practices at the same time and to truly reflect on the good life you have.